Hi, welcome to the 10-minute video summary of the message that was shared at Henrietta Christian Fellowship on the 4th of September, 2022. My name is Don Bold. I'm the pastor of the church. I'd like to take about 10 minutes and share with you some highlights from this past Sunday's message. Uh, the title is uh, Jesus, Our First Love, and it's taken uh, from uh, the message of Jesus to the seven churches in Asia found in the beginning of the book of Revelation. And so I'd like to just take a couple of uh, quotes from there, okay? Revelation 2, 4 through 5a, the beginning of that verse there. But I have this against you that you have left your first love. Therefore, remember from where you have fallen and repent and do the deeds you did at the first. Revelation 3, 3, uh, so remember what you have received and heard and keep it and repent. Okay, Revelation 3, 19 through 20, those whom I love, I reprove and discipline. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will dine with him and he with me. So I want to just take a quick walk through those. Okay, so uh, your first love. Well, many of us who came to Christ at later ages, uh, I was only 19, but nonetheless, I'd had a lot of things that I loved before uh, I met Jesus, but Jesus had to become my first, and, and what it means is preeminent, okay? Uh, and, and as I dug a little deeper on it, I came across something that meant a lot to me, uh, which was that it's the love that leads all other loves, okay? That that's what Jesus is to us, okay? He leads all our other loves, all right? And so, and, and, and he talks about repenting, okay? And that sometimes, uh, responding to love, in part, uh, includes, uh, very importantly, this, this element of repenting, of turning away from the way you were going and choosing the right direction, all right? So, uh, what you have received and heard, keep it, okay, and, and repent, okay? And those who I love, I reprove and discipline. He sounds so harsh there. But then, what's the very next verse? He says, look, I'm standing at your door and knocking. Open up to me, and I'll come in and dine with you, okay? So, you know, this idea of Jesus as our first love. Okay, so how do we go about making Jesus our first or preeminent love? Okay, and um, and so, uh, you know, I just looked at some definitions and uh, mean superior to or notable above all others, outstanding, meaning this first, famous. You know, there's that one uh, song we sing about Jesus, you know, God being the famous one. I kind of was like, mm, like this, but then I realized that, yeah, yeah, the, this, this one that we love most is famous. All right, so anyways, um, those whom I love are reproven discipline. And again, just this warm invitation that, you know, that when Jesus desires to correct us for something, it isn't, uh, you know, to, you know, be sent off to our rooms. Uh, it's to invite his presence. Okay. So, um, yeah. So uh, there's a song and I sang this to the congregation. I'll sing it to you. And uh, it's just, I think for those of you who receive things musically more than just by words, uh, it's a song called Jesus Lover of My Soul. And it's one of those songs from my early days in the Lord, but it's Jesus Lover of My Soul. Jesus, I will never let you you go. You're taking me from the miry clay, set my feet upon a rock, and now I know I love you. I need you. Though my world may fall, I'll never let you go. My Savior, my closest friend, and I will worship you until the very end. So this is the love we're talking about. This described in this song. You know, we recognize Jesus, the one who loves us, all right? And and it's it becomes the, the cry of our heart to, to love him back, okay? So, I, you know, and I, I spent some time with, 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 with a, a, a pastor. I was just meeting him for the first First time we went out to lunch together and uh anyways at the end of lunch as we were standing up to to leave he said thank you for sharing your testimony with me you know and uh and i realized you know that's that's kind of a habit of mine if i'm meeting somebody for the first time and i know we're going to be getting to know each other I really want them to understand who Jesus is to me. And so I, I tend to just, you know, just naturally share that. And so I started realizing that, you know, because why do I do that? It's because, well, not because I want to put Jesus first, but because I don't think you really understand me very well unless you understand who Jesus is to me. Okay. So uh, a lot of what people look at is perhaps originating me. It doesn't really originate me. It re originates in Jesus. Okay. So, um, you know, we say this thing, and I've mentioned it before, that we talk about Jesus being worthy of all of our praise, okay? So, you know, Jesus, this one who's our, our first, our leading love, okay, uh, you know, who who exactly is Jesus to us, all right? And, you know, what does he, who is he to me? What what did he do uh, in my life, okay? So, uh, first of all, you know, I'm just going to go through this. Uh, Jesus is the Son of God. He is God the Son, all right? Uh, Jesus forgives sin as only God can. 
he remits our sins. He doesn't just accept our apology. He sends our sins away. All right. And, uh, you know, the, the Pharisees hearing Jesus uh, say to a person that his sins were forgiven said, who can forgive sins but God only? And what they're referring to is the actually being able to remove the actual guilt and send it away. Only God can do this. And Jesus wanted them to know. He says, so that you know that, uh, uh, you know, I, I have the power. The Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He says, well, rise up and walk. And the guy got up and walked away. So, anyways, um, Jesus in, in, in uh, Matthew twenty six twenty eight said this: that the blood of, of the covenant, which is poured out uh, for many for the forgiveness of sins, is in His blood. Okay, the blood of, uh, in His. And so this this whole idea of being forgiven uh, because the sacrifice has been made, and uh, and and we, by grace through faith we're saved. Okay, all right. He performed miracles. He healed the sick. He fed the hungry. He raised the dead. All right. Uh, he came and lived among us. Okay. God could, probably could have operated this whole thing from heaven if, if that was his will. But his will was to come and dwell among us. And it says in John 1 14 that the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. All right. So he shed his blood and died to pay the penalty for, of our, for our sins. This is the one who is our first love, the, the love that leads us. First Peter 1 18 and 19. And 19, you are not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold from your futile way of life inherited from your forefathers, but with the precious blood as of a lamb, unblemished, spotless, and uh, the, the the blood of Christ. Okay, so that, that's, you know, that's what Jesus did for us. All right. So he rose from the dead and, and to promise us eternal life. First Corinthians 15, 20. But now Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who are asleep or dead. Okay. So first John uh, 5, 11 and 12. And the testimony is this, that God has given us eternal life and this life is in his son he who has the son has life okay so uh it says but then in addition to to these things which are blessings that that, that are ours through christ uh you know to all of us there are the innumerable personal uh blessings that were experienced by his beloved and you uh, all of us are his beloved okay uh we are accepted in the beloved in, in ephesians and here in second thessalonians 2 13 but we should always give thanks to god for you brethren beloved by the lord and and it's like you understand you are beloved by the lord and so there's these other things that, that god does i mean god saved my life more times uh, uh you know it's just it's just it's an amazing thing okay uh he healed my body uh at times he healed people that i prayed for that there were people or people i loved and, and, and prayed for and, and god healed them i mean i mean uh, powerful healings that uh, that are stories in themselves okay i mean uh just you know the the life that i have the people that that are around me, the, the, the people who I serve, you know, all these things are blessings uh, from God. Uh, they are blessings through Jesus Christ. And so when I talk about Jesus being this leading love, I, I have so much uh, reason uh, to, uh, so much to express in, in that love uh, to Jesus. Okay. So, and so just in, in concluding this message, I just want to say this, look, we are so much more in God's eyes and as witnesses when we are holding fast to our first love. All right. That, that, you know, we're, we're, there's so much more potential for us to really be uh, those who, uh, who bring glory to his name, who uh, show forth the praises of him who has brought us out of darkness. You know, the, you know those, those scriptures that talk about who we are, uh, we have so much more potential to be that when we are holding fast to our first love. And so with that, I'm going to say God bless you. And we'll see you next time on the 10-minute video side.